Hi guys, it's Carlos the Ultimate Fitness Trainer once again, 24-7, the four dollop, and today we're doing Ask the Trainer Show with Doug, right behind the camera. So Doug is basically going to ask me some questions which I personally don't know what they are, but I will try to basically answer them to the best of my ability. Doug. Okay, so uh, if trying to gain lean muscle, Shake it. how important is cardio uh, to weight ratio? Because a lot of people obviously focus just on weight, how important is cardio in the uh, lean, yeah, in the okay. quest of lean muscle? Before I start training about cards, before I start talking about cardio and training, I'll talk about actual macronutrients. A lot of people don't understand how important, obviously, the diet in relation to the training, in relation to the cardio. Now, in order for you to get lean muscle mass, you need to obviously find a good balance between your protein, your carbs, and your fats. So it's very important for you to understand how much calories you're spending throughout your daily activity, whether, for instance, I'll just give you an example, say if you've got an office job, compared to someone, say, has got a very active job, your, your calorie expenditure is gonna be very, a lot more in relation to someone that sits down. So your macronutrients need to be obviously bang on. Now, in relation to the training itself, um, obviously training, weight training is gonna promote a lot, a lot of anabolism, which is gonna create you to obviously grow, muscle growth and muscle toning, okay? Now, that only happens if you stay on a positive nutrition balance. Now, if you start taking two, um, sorry, start training too much, you know, taking enough calories, you ain't gonna grow, no matter how much weight you lift, no matter how much you grunt in the gym, you won't grow. This is what a lot of guys out there, they, they come in the gym, they train very hard, but they won't be able to uh, grow muscle mass because they're basically burning muscle for energy. Now, in terms of actually growing and uh, getting lean muscle mass, your cardio needs to come in place because it's gonna help you to burn body fat and get basically skin, skin against muscle, so you get more like that kind of, if you like, harder, toner, sort of more vascular, more sort of like muscle, visual, visual really. Because what it is with a lot of guys is they've got a lot of muscle, because, but they haven't got enough, they've got too much water retention and excess body fat, so that's why they that sometimes don't see, um, obviously, that kind of vascularity. Same with that, because a lot of guys want to get lean abs and, and look leaner, but they've got the abs there, but they've got too much excess body fat. So obviously, in, in relation to the cardio, um, training, and diet, you need to run parallel. Those three things need to run parallel to your goal and to your, obviously, ratio of calorie expenditure and calorie intake. I hope that answers the question. Does yeah, that answer the yeah, question? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, next question would be, um, obviously, a lot of people, they come here, maybe say five, six days a week, and as you say, aren't seeing the gains or the, the growth they expect. Could that be down to overtraining, perhaps? Do you see a lot of that, uh, people overtraining, as yeah. opposed to training for, you know, certain requirements? Yeah, what happens with a lot of guys is obviously there's three types of body, ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs. Uh, ectomorphs being the natural slim, longer limb uh, sort of people. Um, obviously mesomorphs being obviously bigger, bigger guys. Um, obviously endomorphs being obviously slightly larger, intestine larger, rounder shape. Obviously we all blessed with different sort of different obviously genetics. Um, what happens to a lot of guys that in terms of trying to gain muscle mass is they train far too much, far too long. I mean I see guys sometimes in the gym, I'm not gonna name any names, but sometimes two, three hours in the gym. It's just, it's, it shouldn't do that at all. Because after about 40, 50 minutes, your body releases actually a very powerful hormone, which is cortisol hormone, it actually burns muscle for energy. So I always say this, you're actually burning you're burning your muscle that you still want to gain for lifting for the sake of it. So you're actually not growing. So that's why I see a lot of bodybuilders, they're in the gym, 40 minutes, high intensity, and they're out. Because it's when you're not training that you grow. Okay? Yeah, great. Um, what would you say is the most common mistake you see, uh, sort of, we say newbies, or people that say, didn't undertake an induction, or uh, okay. a personal kinds of advice that you see these people making on a regular basis? I see the biggest, well, there's a lot of mistakes I see people making, but probably a common nominated mistake I see people making is lifting far too much weight for what they can actually potential lift correctly. So I'll give you examples, sometimes I see guys on a squat rack uh, putting two or three plates and weighing at say 80k for instance, and they're literally moving like this, literally I'm actually, I mean probably in dogs laughing behind the camera thinking, he sees that all the time as well. See, guys are lifting like, I mean, they're not actually lifting the weight, they're just holding the weight really. Uh, kind of embarrassing, 
guys on the, on the, on the, on the uh, deadlifts, they do that a lot of the times. Um, bench press as well, they're putting far too much weight. And it, it's things, the muscle can't see the weight. So if you're not actually lifting pr properly, you actually, there's two contractions in muscle, in muscle contraction, which is concentric and eccentric contraction. So concentric is when the muscles basically shortens and eccentric when the muscle stre stretches. If those two contractions are not made, you ain't gonna stay anabolic. You ain't gonna break muscle myofibrils, which is actually a fibrils that break in order for you to grow. So there's no point to you. So what you're actually doing, let me actually actually say this to you. If you put a lot of weight and I can't hold on to the weight and push the weight correctly, what's taking the weight is your joints and your ligaments. It's fucking you up. So there's no point doing that at all. It's just an ego thing, which is, I talk about the ego as well in some of the videos you guys seen. So there's no point doing it. And I know you might mess your head up because you're thinking, oh, but that guy over there is doing it. So I think I'm stronger than him. So I'm going to... There's no point to do to do that because your body doesn't develop. So it's actually um, a low sense of security, I think, because you might be lifting 50, but you can't even lift 20 properly. So why would you do that? And sometimes you might think, oh, coming down to 20 makes you feel a lesser man. It doesn't, because once you start lifting it properly, eventually you'll catch up to 30 and to 40 and your muscle re responds to it. So I definitely will say that's the one of the co common mistakes. People lifting far too much what they can actually do. So you suggest for anybody that's new to the gym or people that may be uh, to not ego lift, say lower the weight, yeah, get your yeah. technique perfect. Yeah, I mean, I mean, from there. I, I mean, as a trainer, I mean, I've been in the game for that long and I've got to say this to you. I mean, as much as I train and I know, when I say I know my stuff, I do know my stuff from a theoretical point of view and practical point of view. I don't know it all. And I don't train perfectly either. I know a lot of stuff about biomechanics assessment and I've studied that to a high, higher level, but that doesn't mean I train perfectly. I don't train perfectly at all. No one, no one out there, no matter how successful they are, can tell them to train perfectly, they don't. I cheat sometimes, I'm doing sometimes bicep curls and, and I kind of bend my back a little bit and I bend my knees a little bit and I swing because I, I, ut I utilize cheating principles as well, but I try to train as, with good form as I can, but sometimes I cheat too. So you might say, oh yeah, Carlos says he doesn't cheat. I do cheat too as well. But I cheat for the principle to put tension into my muscle, not to ego train, two different things. So but I definitely, I would definitely say that's the, com the most common mistake people do. So reduce the weight, get your form right, and then build up. But I, I see guys doing that, you know, they, they, they drop down the weight and they get stronger, stronger, stronger. I'll give you an example. One of my famous, um, famous clients um, is a bodybuilder. And if you actually see him train, you think, Whoa, I didn't know so just lifts that. Because he's actually massive, right? But he doesn't lift loads of weight. Do you know what I mean? He lifts weights properly, he really focuses on contraction. He need, his body responds to that massively. So that is a part that you probably see, I'll, I'll be doing some videos with him anyway. You'll see how his body responds to proper contractions. And we actually done a, a test with him once where, where we went really, really heavy and, and cheated loads and his body didn't really respond. And when he went lighter, he actually went bigger. So it's, that shows you. Cool. Okay. Um, my, my other question is a lot of people say when training, um, you know, how can you train by yourself? Do I train by myself a lot? And I said it's just getting in the, you know, into that mindset. I yeah. think a lot of people struggle with training, with the mentality side of it. Like physically they can, they can, they're capable of lifting weights and they can cope. Yeah. But I think, do you think how much of a, a, a a big percentage of your training is mentality, how much you think that plays a part? I mean, psychology plays a big thing with, with training. I mean, I will say this to you guys about creating great, great habits. I mean, habits are fantastic and they're really going to get you to the best of your ability. Now, I'll give you an example now. If you, if you guys basically um, get a good training partner, they will basically really, really help you. Uh, become better and better. Now, if you train by yourself, a lot of the times you need to be, you know, very, very strong to really focus um, on what you have to do. But I, I do think this, uh, two, there's two ways of looking at that. I mean, if you've got a really good training partner that's going to push you, that's going to make you the best you can, become your greatest version, great. Now, if you just got a training partner just to have a bit of a laugh, have a bit of a joke, and get them and check, check, check some, some Instagram, because a lot of guys, what they do is they, they're always on the phone, with each other talking, they don't really train really, it's not training, it's just almost like a, a social event, which is, um, look, it's fine if that's what you really want to do, because sometimes some people come to the gym just to chill, and that's what they do, I mean, I don't like to criticize, because some people like, when you train, when you're training, oh look at him, what is he doing, sometimes people just want to come just 
just just to chill. They don't want to be bodybuilders. They don't want to be fitness models. They don't want to look any big or any small. So they just want to come to see what they're doing. They just like to train. But if I was to actually answer that question really to the to to, to the best of my abilities, it is definitely psychology when you're training by yourself. You've got to be very strong. You've got to be very focused, and you've got to know exactly what you're trying to attain every single training session and you see a progression now if you've got a training partner that's going to push you more then i definitely advise you to train with a training partner but if you've got a training partner that's just going to be there just to have a bit of a chat have a chat after the training session because that's going to you know that's going to really focus more that way you're there for you know what i mean if you come to the gym to grow you need to get obviously someone that's going to push you because otherwise by yourself it can be quite hard sometimes by yourself i try i train by myself most of the times but then on this three days a week, I train with a training partner, and I always train harder when I train with a training partner. Definitely, no matter how much dedication you can have, you always train more because that's like you're pushing each other as well. Okay. Um, my other question would be: um, when people train, they may lose sight of say you need to focus each training session on a certain, you know, what you're trying to attain. How would you? How would you? Say to go about doing that, like write it down or make a note or? Yeah, what I do, I do a mix, it's called, all my clients know this, I always go through with my clients, it's called micro, macro and meso development. So it's, it, to translate that very simply, it's three months, six months to a year. So what you do is you break it down to your goal. So everyone's different. So my goal, for instance, right now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you on camera, my goal right now is to maintain my weight. Okay, so you see me training, I'll do lots of different training. I don't want to grow, I don't want to get any bigger, I don't want to grow my chest or grow my back I don't want to grow because I know if I if I start putting too much weight on something else goes as well obviously it's your belly as well so I'm gonna lose my aesthetics so I don't want to do that at all so if you see me in the gym sometimes I'm I'm gonna lift in two and a half plates on a bench I don't I can do more but I don't ego train so I just want to keep my body like that so so that's what I do and then and then if I really want to develop my body then obviously I go on to I increase my calorie intake and I decrease my calorie intake if I want to obviously lose weight. Um, now, the best thing I can actually advise you to do is um, to actually really focus more on, on the really specific training that you really want to achieve. So let's say if you want to put muscle mass, so you divide the amount of when you want to look at top shape. So if you say, I'll give you an example, say March now, um, if I want to look really good, so by the end of the summer, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't care about my abs now, I'd just be smashing the weights, increase my calorie intake, start getting some mass, and when I get to about two months off, off my, my peak, which is obviously, be, obviously the summer, I start dieting now, because you can't look amazing every single time. If you look at the fitness models and bodybuilders, they don't look like they look in the picture every single day, they'll be bullshitting. They're obviously, it's like, it's like that's, the universe shows you there's seasons, the winter season, there's not like the summer season. Um, obviously, it's completely different, so that's the same with the physique. You can't, you can't hold that condition forever. Do you know what I mean? When I competed, you see me all ripped. I can't hold that condition, 4% body fat for the whole of my life, the rest of my life, I'd be dead. Do you know what I mean? I can't do that, so I've got to put some fat on, uh, I look less stoned, but when I'm competing, I have a photo shoot, I go back to that condition. So, that, what I'd advise you guys to do is focus on a goal you really want to attain work towards it for between 10 and 12 weeks then diet down 10 or 12 weeks and then get to that goal and then move on again and go on again cool so Doug asked me a lot of questions here so it's basically uh, we try to do this often more often so we'll be able to obviously help you guys and become a greatest version so with all that said guys you know how to find me on Carlos, uh, Carlos Trainer 10 on Instagram on YouTube Carlos Trainer on my website ultimatefitnesstraining.co.uk and with all that said then, stay happy stay healthy stay fit and thanks to Doug for asking me all those questions take care of yourself bye now